This is the Ovulus 3. This is it. Fact or fake? What we're gonna do tonight is I'm gonna go over a little bit about what the Ovulus does and then I'm gonna do a little bit of practice sessions with you guys. Hi everybody, and Shauna with Geeks. Um, I just wanted to give you a different intro. <laughs> this is the last factor fake for the Oculus 3. So we're going to go over the last two modes, which is sync mode and thermal flashlight. And the thermal flashlight mode is pretty awesome. The sync mode, what the sync mode does is it counts down so you can sync your equipment together. So if you have your digi or your cameras or anything and you want to sync them together so you can figure out where things are like um, most people want to do. then <laughs> you're going to go ahead and use the sync mode if you need to or you can just use a watch or your phone or whatever. The thermal flashlight, what it does is it uses these two lights at the top right here and it turns from three different colors from a cool or cold which is blue temperature, a green which is a moderate temperature and a red which is warm or hot temperatures. So I love that mode because I can use that mode in Q&A mode when I'm in a room and you can tell if a spirit comes nearby by the color of the top. To turn that on you just of course turn it on but you can't turn it on in the dictionary mode. See? So you're gonna have to make sure you go to the next mode which is the Q&A mode and then you can press these two at the same time and it turns on and of course it's red but then it's green and then you can use a cold the cold temperature is blue so you have blue green and what red so then it turns your eyes into cameras 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 you have these Two, which is awesome for the thermal and the thermal flashlight is really cool I use it a lot in the Q&A mode that way you can tell if something comes by if it's really cold it's gonna turn blue if it's just a normal everyday main room it's gonna be green and of course if it's in a hot atmosphere it's gonna be red and that puts you in sync mode. Once that puts you in sync mode, puts you straight back in the dictionary mode. That way you can get started with your cameras and your mics and everything that you need to get started with. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off real quick and change out the batteries. I just thought I heard the curtain moving. Oh, my heart is beating! Shit fire and save matches. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, let's try this and see if, woo! Did you see the lights pop on? Oh, to get these lights to work up here at the top, you hold the left and the right buttons down at the same time, and it's supposed to get these two to light up. There you go! See? Look, the heat, and then it's cold, and then heat, and then cold. Where the heat's cold, the heat's cold. And then heat, and then cold. So you just sit it somewhere and you watch it and if it something that gets close to it then it like changes color so if you have it sit in the middle of nowhere and it changed color then either the battery's dying or you have a spirit that touched your or came near your equipment so I like to use this mode <laughs> because of that to get that off, you have to match the left and right button at the same time again. Let's turn it off. That's 
the Arbulus. I think I've, I've covered all the basics. If I haven't, just leave me a comment below and say, hey, you didn't talk about this one. Well, please leave your comments below. Let us know if you use the thermal mode or if you even use the sink mode. Let us know your stories. If you have used the Ovulus 3 and you've come up with some pretty accurate details and stuff, we'd love to hear your stories. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We have a thing that we want to start doing. We're going to start promoting bands. So if you're a musician or you know a musician and they want to feature their song, we're going to go ahead and listen to those songs and choose the part or a portion out of the song or if they want to pick a part or portion out of the song that they want to use. We're going to use it at the end of the video in our ending credits and we're going to tell everybody to watch the end of the credits so they can see what the name of the band is and their website. We're going to go from there. So. If you think it's a great idea, comment below. Let me know it's a great idea. If you know someone that would like to, please leave a comment below. Let me know who they are. Or you can email us at geeks, G-E-E-K-S, at geeksparanormal.com. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching.